Hi, welcome to Fusion 360 video tutorial. Now the Turbo Snail in Fusion 360. Done again with 2D sketches only. So let's have fun with Fusion 360. So in order to get a spiral or helix I have to go for a coil. So go for create, go for coil. You have to select a plane and a center point and define a diameter and the diameter should be 235, 235. Then you will get a coil, but I don't need a coil. So let's check, I want to have a spiral. Diameter should be 235, yes. The revolutions, I want to go for 7 8 revolutions. And and the pitch should be 26. And I don't want it circular, I need it triangular. Not external, but internal. Yes, not on center, but on the outside. Yes, this looks okay. And yeah, that's the one I want. Section size, it's just the size of the triangle here. Doesn't really matter, just make sure that this edge points to the inside. And confirm. And now I can do a sketch on the top plane and project or include that edge here. So go for a sketch on the top plane and bring in that edge by project include. Let's go for project and select this edge and confirm. Finish that sketch and hide that body which leaves me with that sketch here. Now I need a plane here, a plane there, that would be this plane and circles. So let's go for a plane and go for surfaces. I need a plane along a path. The path would be this one. And the distance from the start should be zero. Nope. I got that wrong. So go back and put it to the end, which means one. Now go for a sketch on that plane here. And I need to include that point, just in case. Project that end point into the sketch. Put a circle right on top of it. And the diameter maybe 50 millimeters. Finish that sketch. Now for another sketch, now on this plane here, sketch on that plane, again bring in that point just in case, this end point, and OK, and put a circle right there and diameter maybe 18 millimeters. Now finish that sketch. Now I should be able to do a loft or maybe even a sweep, but as far as I remember, I can use only one profile, so I will go for a loft, create loft. This would be the first profile, that would be the second profile, and I need a path, and the path would be this one. looks okay to me. So let's confirm. Now I need two planes to split this one. So go for a plane with an offset. Yes, from this one, six millimeter. And another one from the same plane, but with minus six millimeter. 
Now I can split that body here. So go for modify, go for split body, not split face, split body. I want to split this body with that plane here. Confirm. And maybe switch to different display setting. Go for with grizzle edges. Now I need another split with the other plane and I want to split the lower body with that tool here and confirm. Now I can hide this one here. Okay. Now in order to close that gap here, I need two sketches. I could do it with an extrude, but I want to do it with another loft. So I need that plane here. So I need a sketch on that plane right here. Bring in those two vertices, project this point and that point, confirm and connect them with a line. Okay, finish that sketch. And the other sketch should be on this plane. Bring in those two points if possible. Create, project include this point and that point and confirm. Connect them with a line and OK and finish this sketch as well. Now I want to make a loft or I could go for a sweep with a path and a guide. So let's see what will work. So the loft doesn't work. I will go for a sweep. For the sweep I would have needed only one line. But doesn't matter, so let's go for a sweep. I want to sweep this profile here, that line. And I want to have a guide and a path. The path might be this edge here. So deactivate chain selection, so this edge. It should be perpendicular to path, yes, scale, no, new, go for a chain select, no, go for a guide rail, like this, and that should do the trick. Okay, let's hide that body, and I want to bridge these, so let hide that sketch, go for loft, this edge to that edge and it should be tangent and tangent and confirm. Okay. Let's bring back that body, not this one, but that one. Stitch this one, that one, and this one. Confirm. And now I want to split that body here, therefore I will need a plane with an angle. I could hide those other planes. Go for a new one, plane with an angle, plane at angle. I need a line, that line. I need no reference, so I just have to move this at least to 45 degrees. So let's go for 47 degrees. 
Uh, that's wrong. Happens. Go for edit feature. So it should be like this. That would be minus, not 45, but 43 degrees. Minus 43 degrees. That should do. Go for modify. Go for split body. I want to split this body here with that plane. Confirm. This looks okay. So let's hide not this body but that. No. That's the one. Go for another loft. Go from this profile here. So select this edge, that edge, this one and that one. And go to this edge. Make it tangent and tangent. Then bring back that body here and give it some guides. One guide, second guide, and confirm. Great. Hide that body. Quite nice. Now we need another sketch on the top plane. Now a sketch on the top plane. Hide those bodies and bring back sketch number one. Yes, project that into the sketch as construction element, confirm, hide that sketch, yes, and now I need a tangent arc, which should be available here, yes it is, from this point in that direction, maybe like that. Finish that sketch. Let's bring back the bodies. I need a plane normal to that curve in that point. So go for plane along path. That's the path. And this should be zero. Then a sketch on this one here. Bring in that point. And put the circle right there. Maybe diameter is 60. And finish that sketch. No. Of course, I need to split it here with maybe a rectangle. Let's go for a rectangle. Make it for construction like that. That might be 20. And it should be sort of symmetric. Do we have a midpoint constraint? Not really. Let's see where's midpoint midpoint. There. And I need to put maybe like this. Yeah, that's okay. And now break that circle. So check there's a break command. And I want to break this here. That's okay. So I should have this arc and that arc. Great. Finish that sketch. Now let's hide this surface here. 
and do a loft from this edge to that arc here. Go for tangent with the first one and maybe add a path if possible. We yeah, are great and confirm. And now reverse the normal of this surface. Bring back that sketch. And let's do another loft. Now using those edges here. Okay. And add that one. Great. And go for guides. Plus this one and plus that one and I want it to be tangent here and confirm. So if this connects you should change the angle here but I think I'm done. So I hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my YouTube, uh, sorry, to my Facebook campfire page. Would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.